30 miles west of Lafayette sits the small town of Fowler, Indiana. It's home to a little more than 2,000 people. But curious visitors from all across the world will come to this town to experience one of its attractions. Today's Haunted Lafayette takes us outside of Tippecanoe County to the Fowler Theater. There's something about this town I think is just haunted. So the theater itself was built in 1940, and over the years it's been a big part of the community. But in like the 90s, it started to kind of fall into disrepair. So prior to what you see now, it was in bad shape. They spent about 10 years renovating the theater, repainting it. From top to bottom, we have similar experiences just about every time we come here now. Some nights it's, it's more active than others. Lights flashing, doors opening, uh, voices, sounds. The men's bathroom faucet comes on by itself all the time. We've had three what I'll call entities that seem to kind of stand out here. One is what's well, been reported several times as the man in the trench coat and fedora. Some locals believe that it might be the original owner coming to make sure that we're taking good care of the theater. The other is the manager who, there was a manager who killed himself in 1968, not in the theater, but some believe based on some of the interactions we've had that it might be his spirit returning. And the last one is a kid. One group came in out of Chicago and they put their camera up next to our camera and they sent me the video and audio later and they said, you know, what do you think this is? And it's clearly a kid saying, Mom. So I'm like, okay, well, let's see if they were tricking us or not. So I play back our camera. I don't hear Mom, but I hear at the same time. So an EVP is an electro electronic voice phenomena. So it's basically capturing something that you and I might not hear, but you hear it on a recorder when you play it back. One group come in and they picked up a lot of voices, but one, they were upstairs and they said, or were you a projectionist here? Nothing happened. They said, what was your name? Nothing happened. They played it back and they heard Russ. If your name isn't Lucas, then what is your name? Russ. Well, I post that up on Facebook and I got a message immediately from someone who is the daughter of a projectionist, the original owner, whose father's name was Russ. One of my favorite stories. So we were having a board meeting. We were all up front here. It's all the board members, about six or seven of us. And we're, tr we're debating on what to have as a Christmas movie. So the debate wasn't so much what to have as was Die Hard a Christmas movie or not. So as soon as we said, yeah, we think it's a Christmas movie, we should show it, the lights on the side turned green and the spotlights came on. So whoever was here was approving Die Hard as a Christmas movie. No ghost has come up and tapped me on the shoulder and said, hey, Dwight, I'm here. But enough weird stuff has happened to make you go, what the heck was that? Well, the Fowler Theater shows new movies every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and they also allow open paranormal investigations. If you'd like to see more spooky stories from our area, you can click on the story on WLFI.com to find our Haunted Lafayette series from previous years. Uh, certainly an eerie feeling when you walk in that theater. Yeah. And especially, it's all caught on camera, so a lot of the things you can witness yourself, whether you believe it or not, uh, folks love to dispute ghost stories did this you time of year. Did you see anything while you were there? Uh, I didn't see anything personally. We were waiting for it. We're like, this will be the perfect time. We got our cameras rolling. But um, yeah, the folks at the Fowler Theater were really kind to us and letting us go in there. And uh, they're very proud of that theater. And I know mm -hmm, the folks uh, in that town uh, love that historic piece. Tomorrow's Haunted Lafayette is going to take us back to the Civil War era. In northern Tippecanoe County, there's an old cemetery that paranormal investigators say is haunted. We'll tell you the stories of the Pierce Cemetery near Harrison High School tomorrow on News 18 This Morning.